Hello everyone, welcome to another screencast presentation. My name is Mitch Parsonage, I'm an applications engineer at Monitor Design Centers in Cape Town. And what I want to show you today is how to get accurate solar studies or accurate shadows specifically inside your Revit document. Also specifically from a floor plan view. The first most important thing that we deal with when we're actually setting up a solar study is to accurately locate our project in the world. Okay, now Revit has an internal mapping service that it uses, uh, sorry, an internet mapping service rather, that allows you to locate your project in the world. Now that location defaults to Boston, Massachusetts. So that is obviously going to give us some very incorrect information if we go ahead and just activate our shadows in our project right now. Okay, Northern Hemisphere versus Southern Hemisphere is quite a dramatic difference. So the first thing we need to do is just go and locate our project. So if I go to my Manage tab, Project Location Panel, and I select my Location feature, it will bring up an internet mapping service that uses Bing Maps. Okay, what this does is it allows us to position our project somewhere in the world. So as I mentioned, it will default to Boston, and we just need to zoom out and drag that house icon to the location that we want it to be. So I'm currently in Cape Town, South Africa. So I'm just going to move this information to that location. Roughly, I'm not too concerned about exactly where it is at this point. You would want to be more specific because wherever you move this icon to, it connects to the nearest weather station and it reports this information for you. And it's also going to accurately depict your sun for you based on where you are in the world. So having said that, I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to activate my sun settings. So I'm going to come down here to my view control bar and I'm going to turn my sun path on. When I get this message, I need to select this top option, use the specified project location, date and time instead. I just set my project location. So I'm going to go with this option. It's going to activate my sun path and I'm going to turn my shadows on as well. Okay. That's great. We get the shadows to appear over here. I know that my sun is coming from the correct point. So this is all this is all accurate at the moment, but there is something that I am missing over here. I need to remember that when I'm looking at a floor plan view, Revit has something called a view range. Now the view range in Revit defaults to a cut plane of 1.2 meters. So I'm seeing everything in this floor plan cut at a height of 1.2 meters. And that is actually what the shadows are depicting as well. So these walls, for instance, go up to a height of four meters or up to a height of eight meters, excuse me. The shadows are only showing me what this sun is going to show inside my building when it's at a height of 1.2 meters. So I'm actually getting very, very inaccurate readings at the moment. So the way that I can fix this, something that I recently discovered, and that is the ability for me to take a section through this head over to my section view and inside my section view I can actually create a camera. So that is very relevant when we want to create accurate solar studies. From my section view I can hit my 3D drop down, I can select my camera option and I just need to make sure that up here in my options bar perspective is not switched on. Okay, essentially what I'm doing here is I'm creating a floor plan, but I'm creating a floor plan that ignores the cut plane. So I'm going to untick perspective and I'm going to put my, my mouse roughly at the top or at the head height of my curtain wall. If you had doors, you could do it at that location as well. It doesn't really matter where you put it in this view. It's still going to give you the accurate solar uh, the sun path. So I want to select at the top. And I'm just going to go right down to the base of my building, keeping this line as straight as possible. Okay, when I'm happy with the result, I can click to place that camera down. You can see what it does is it actually generates a floor plan. Starting where I place my camera, looking right down to the bottom of my walls. Now, if I go ahead and I activate my sun path here in this view, again, using the specified project date, and location and I activate my shadows I can see straight away I have a dramatically different result so if I leave this view open and I head over to my level one plan and I just put those two views next to one another I can see that I could potentially be looking at very very different information 
Okay, now the one on the right hand side is displaying it at a different time of day as well. So that is something that I would have to take into consideration. On the left hand side, I'm currently displaying the sun on the 1st of June at 10.08 a.m. So I need to go and set my right hand side to be the same information. Okay, so this is going to be the 1st of June. And it is going to be set to 10.08 a.m. Okay. So now these two are both pointing towards the same time of day. And you can notice that there is a huge difference between the right hand side and the left hand side. The right hand side is accurate and will show you exactly what your sun is going to look like or your shadows are going to look like inside your building. One on the left is showing you the same thing except it's being cut at a height of 1.2 which is why we are not getting the depth of these shadows that actually extend into our building. So as I mentioned there are a couple of other things that we can go into here like orientating your building correctly to true north to get the, the sun to display 100% correctly. In this case I just wanted to show you that this is an accurate representation of specifically the shadows of your project, okay? not necessarily the sun path. So I hope this helps and I hope you can find a use for it and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.